ヒートキリバトゥーサイワッツアップ、エブリワン、テキフォーディングアスポンツアゲン、オンディスターゼロワンチャンネル、アミューホース、デクストラフィリス、ウィッマイスペシャルゲスト。ジェノワラフィリス。That's right, she's here <laughs> because we both grew up loving Ruroni Kenshin.、Mm -hmm. Yes. I watched it purely in fan sub. That's right. Do you guys even know what fan sub is? Back in the 90s, everyone who wanted to watch anime, there was no fast internet back in the day, had to distribute anime through video cassette, and they were all fan subbed. That means fan subtitled, and that's right. This is the first series I ever watched to its completion. How about you, Janelle? I watched this when I was a teenager and finally had an English dub, so. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> We both watched it. Did you watch it all the way to the end? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, and I watched the,、um, the movie the Samurai movie. X. I Just love that movie. Love, love, love that movie. So now we finally、Beautiful、get a figure、movie. because we never really got a true 112 scale figure. Now, I've heard from a lot of people this figure actually has an issue with scale, but we're going to look at that firsthand、right. here in this video and we're going to see if this is an issue. I got this from Jason Co. His Facebook page is down in the description down below. You can go ahead and shout out that I sent you there if you are interested in this figure. So, enough of me talking. Let's open this guy up. Let's see if he's worth the money. I believe he goes for around $60 to $70. Ooh, kind of expensive. He feels a little bit, but at the same time, we've been waiting a very long time for yes, this figure. Yes, yes. So, they know that we're willing to pay it. Yeah, exactly. They know. They know. They know. And this is actually not from like Bandai or anything like that. This is from a company called, I believe, Dasen. I'm gonna, it's gonna be in the, in the title anyway.、Um, and I believe they make other like action figures too, which is really cool. And I'm looking here at the accessories, and there are some really hysterical faces there. I cannot wait to look at those. But man, this is really sealed in tight. And man, look at, like, just looking at everything. It looks like you get quite a bit of stuff. Okay, box. I don't want you to all the accessories fly. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. It was nice and organized. Wow, look at all. Look at this face, especially. Let's look at this face. <laughs> just, <wanna> look, <laughs> just, just look at this. This is so, so Kenshin right、oh, there. That's one of my favorites. That, that's, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> So, anyway, let's get some light on here. We're going to go over paint detail, articulation, and scale, and accessories. And Janelle is going to be organizing those accessories while I look at everything else. So, let's look at the Hidokiri Batusai Ruroni Kenshin, Himura Kenshin. And first things first, let's look at this face. This is really what sells it for me. This face is absolutely amazing with that awesome scar. Look at that scar, h u n Look at the hair, too. It is really well painted, super detailed,、yeah, and everything that like that. It looks like he jumped right out of the anime.、Um, when it comes to his. What is this? I forgot what this is called. His、uh, clothes. We're just going to call it his clothes because I, I honestly forgot what it was called.、Uh, his outfit is kind of a little bit too loose, in my opinion. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. It kind of doesn't look like it fits him well. It looks like it's way too big for him. That's the risk we've run with、yeah. real clothes. Yeah,、so、and th that kind of happens、perfect. with that. You can't get it perfect because it's not, you know, it's not plastic, but. I think,、uh, I think the color is very accurate, and the way it looks definitely looks like it came from the anime. And if you look here, from what I understand, it looks like the,、uh, the band for the pants can be tightened up by tightening this. So that's pretty cool, too. I like that. But so far, it's not falling off him right now, so I don't have an issue with that. And let's look at the, the、uh, feet here. Of course, you've got the sandals there that look really cool. And the skin tone, let's see his chest and skin tone and everything like that. I just want to focus on this, and it looks like it is really nicely painted. It is not just a pale white that I thought it would be, and it does look really cool. So, when it comes to paint detail, I'd have to say it looks, he looks like Kenshin, right? I mean,、yeah. do you have any issues? Do you see anything wrong? No, no, no. Do you have anything? Yeah, it looks like Kenshin, Kenshin, as it should be. And the people who've been looking for, at this figure for a while,、uh, yeah, I'd have to say it looks like him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go into articulation and scale. So, this is the main issue with this figure. He's way too big to be 1 12th scale, to be considered 1 12th scale. He should be around 6 to 6 and a half inches. And let's look here. No, he is not. He's looking to be at around. Well, actually, I take that back. I, I, I shouldn't just say this is not. He's actually 6 and a half exactly. 
So if you're going to compare him with other action figures in 112 scale, here is a SH figure art Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, which you can get at dstartoys.com. Always got to plug the store. And uh, look at that. I, I, I just don't think this fits. It just doesn't. No, doesn't it it do doesn't anime. fit. You know, he doesn't fit with anime characters, which is kind of sad. I was hoping he would fit really well with Goku, but he's just way too tall. So let's see if he fits with other action figures. So here is a Mezco uh, Punisher, Netflix Punisher. Now this seems to be a little bit better. Now the Mezcos have known to be a little bit bigger in scale anyway. So I think this works more with the Marvel Legends rather than like anime figures. When it comes to height, yeah. Right, but when it comes to height. the style is completely off. Yeah. So... There's that. Yeah. So anyway, let's move on to another action figure. Okay, another character we're going to look at is a Marvel Legends Silver Samurai. So it does look like instead of, of like anime figures from like uh, um, SH Figure Arts and Bandai, it looks like they tried to scale him more towards Marvel Legends. Mm -hmm. I'd have to say. I'd have to say. And last but not least, sure, why not? We have him out here. Let's just look at Vegito next to him. Yeah, see, it just doesn't work. Just doesn't work with other anime figures. Okay, let's go on to articulation. We have an up and down here at the ankle. Uh, Janelle, before you do that, uh, while, while I'm doing this, see how tall he is in, in on Google. Anyway, we have articulation here at the ankle, which goes up and down. Uh, we don't get a toe joint, unfortunately. Let's see if we have a double joint knee. Yes, we do have a double joint knee right there, which is really nice. Do we have a... Yes, we even have a swivel there at the thigh. Looks like we have solid articulation for a ball joint there at the upper leg, so that's going to be really cool. Can he ab crunch? Yes, he can ab crunch, which is really nice. Does he have butterfly joints? Let's see. Let's see under this. Yes, we do. We do have, we do have butterfly joints, so... Without butterfly joints, I don't think he can hold this sword pro sword properly. So I'm glad they decided to do that. So that's really nice. Now we do have a double jointed elbow right there, which is really cool too. We have a ball and peg here for the wrist. It looks like we got two at the neck, looking to be well above 20 points for articulation. And Janelle, what is the verdict on how tall he is? Actual Kenshin is supposed to be about five feet two inches. So whoa, really? Yeah really whoa okay so he really doesn't fit with six no. foot john barenthal no he should have been scaled more towards the whoa really i didn't know he was that short i didn't figure that either but okay so he's in a scale all of his own <laughs> yeah to my surprise interesting so uh, the One Punch Man figure that I do have by Dassin Model is just a tad bit bigger. Maybe like a head bigger. Okay, I wouldn't say a tad. A head bigger than the Figma. And then when I put him next... I remember when I put him next to Goku, it does seem to fit. So it seems like this one in particular, this figure in particular, is just kind of in a scale of its own. Hmm. Um, let's discuss this down in the comments down below. I'll be down there discussing this with you guys. Um, is this cool with you? Are you down with a bigger scale Kenshin, even though he should be 5'2"? He should be shorter than Goku. He should be. Yeah. I think. Anyway. But person, if you're like me, okay, the day that we actually show you what our collection looks, looks like in our house, um, for me, scale doesn't really matter. Because if it's a toy that I like, I'm just going to get it. Right. It really doesn't matter. Which if... I think is what most people do. Like, un like I'm, I, think, I believe I'm a rare case where... I am such a stickler for scale that, uh, yeah. Because you play with them and you set them up. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly wouldn't put this with all my anime figures, to be honest. Mine are on display and actively doing something with each other, but I'm not playing with them. So yeah. they look nice on display. So it really depends on what kind of collector you are. Yeah, it really does. So what kind of collector are you? Let me know down in the comments down below. Let's move on to accessories, which is my favorite part right here. Oh my gosh, Let, these accessories. Let's look at all the these accessories. Right, right, toy. right. So let's look at the blade here of the Hirokiri Batusai. So, Ooh. oh, Oops. ah, ah, Janelle dropped the sword. Lock into this. So this should be just like the anime. He has a reverse blade. And this does look like a reverse blade, which the sharp end is on the other side. And then we kind of have a dull end here, which is something that I'm glad they, they decided to do. 
not just give you some generic samurai sword. This definitely looks just like Kenshin sword, which is really, really cool. His life-giving sword. Yes. And we do have a sword right here, uh, or a sheath. And we do get a half sword, or like a quarter sword here. And the reason why you'd want to do that is just for this. They don't want you to put the entire sword in there. Well, this uh, is specifically so you can pose it with the hand that helps pop it out. Because he, ha uh, he has both hands. So the thumbs will pop down and will help hold open the the sword partially. So you can start to see that it's Oh, okay. Out that, that's pretty cool. Halfway. So you can do something like, like, a, like a halfway. Yeah. Kind of like this. This one. <laughs> okay, so... She will. Uh, she will go over that in a bit. Yeah. Let's see. So he. I believe this goes here, this right? This one. Okay. So Janelle will sh will show me after I place this, right? Is he left or right-handed? <laughs> to remember. I, I honestly remember forgot. It's been a long time. Of normal people, I thought. So he's actually left-handed. I think it's. So he draws from the left side, if if that if I'm not mistaken. Kind of like this. Yeah, he really is too tall. In fact, he's having a hard time posing in front of the camera because he's just too tall. Oh, he's right. Yeah, so he's yeah, proper. Because left-handed is how they train you with the sword, typically. So for him to be right-handed, it's like awkward for other people. So if this I remember that would correctly, be, I'm sure somebody so will correct this, me. So this would be right here, right? In this side of the band. Yeah. Okay. Just another advantage. Okay, and we have this like so. Okay. And which hand did you want to see? This one, right? Yeah, that one is supposed to be the one that helps you um, slightly pop the sword out so you can show the blade just before he's about to draw it out. Something like... I think it's supposed to be <coughs> more along the line. No, no, no. So Like this. Like, yeah, like that. Yeah, it's yeah. like that. It's like that. Yeah. And then, let's see. There's a matching one. Okay. So here we have it. Right? I, I, <laughs> I believe this is the proper, I, I believe he's just, he's regular stance. He's he's right-handed. So, uh, yeah, let's look at that. That's him, like, about to take out his blade. We can get him in, like, a fighting stance right here. About ready to slice and dice. That's pretty cool. And then when he pulls out the sword, there's nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> this one, yes. <laughs> but then you can take it out and you can have him go like this. And that looks, whoa, look at that. Doesn't that look cool? I love this. That, that's here. pretty rad, I, I'd have to I say. I he's big, but I like him. Yeah, that's 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 pretty that's pretty rad okay so uh let's look at other accessories we'll look at the other hands when we uh, at the end of the video i really want to look at the at the face here and let's see here so let's get him in this funny uh <laughs> i love this face just look at this face oh my gosh this is just <laughs> isn't that worth it alone yeah okay I'd have to say, that's pretty cool. Let's look that's at another classic. face. Yeah, that's pretty classic. Okay, let's look at this other face. Uh-huh. And, of course, we, we got to go with the funny faces. We got to go with the funny faces. And there you have it. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> he's about to pass out. <laughs> yeah, when he's about to pass out or he walks in. Uh, what's her name? I forgot her name. Yeah, she head. bonks him on the head when he's she's <laughs> taking a bath or something. Typical anime fashion. And here he is, all happy. It's like the end of the episode. We all learned our lesson. <laughs> there we go. It's really happy. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go through all the faces. Sure, why not? Let's just go through all of them. Uh, we have the angry face right here. This is when he's fighting. Oh, yeah, she says the other hairpiece. So let's look at the different... I think it's supposed to look more like he's... Yeah, like I think so. motion Yeah, uh, it just looks more fluffy, I think. Fluffy? Honestly, I, do, I like the less fluffy look better. I, I do like the less fluffy. Yeah. I was just wondering if yeah. it was supposed to help make him look more fierce. Yeah. Also, one thing I did notice is that the back, the ponytail is not articulated. 
I honestly oh. thought it would be. Yeah, it is not articulated. Uh, let's see. Let's look at one last face. And we're looking at the... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to call this face. Let's call it the handsome face. Sure. The, the I'm here to impress you face. Or the intimidation face? Sure, it could be the intimidation <laughs> face. Be. It I could mean, be. Yeah. I'm not I'd have quite to say sure. So. Okay, and last but not least, we're gonna go like I said, we're gonna go over the hands later. Let's look at this stand that you get right here. And you do get a wonderful stand, which is pretty nice. Oh look, we get two different hands mm -hmm. or arms. That's pretty rad. I kind of like that. That's really nice. So let's assemble this stand. Let's stand him up, and then we will come up with a conclusion for this action figure of the Himuro Kenshin by Dasen Model. Okay, everyone, we stood him up. There he is with the stand. There he is looking super cool, super serious, yet at the end he has this face at the end of the episode. So let's come up with a conclusion of this figure. I'm going to tell you right now, Janelle and I are sitting on opposite sides of the spectrum. He is way too big to fit in any of my action figures. Being the man of the house who has the most action figures, I can't, I can't do this. I just can't. It's going to be really difficult to put this with, especially with anime figures like Goku, Ranma, anything from SH Figure Arts and stuff like that. I would probably stick him... On my desk, because I do love this figure. Don't get me wrong, he's fantastic looking. I would stick him on the desk, just have him be that wandering samurai all alone mm -hmm. and nothing more. Okay? Nothing more. I can't mix and match this guy with any other action figure because he's just too big. I mix and match a lot, so it really doesn't make a difference right. for me. <laughs> so if it doesn't matter, like, yeah, exactly. If you don't care about scale, then by all means, if you're a fan of Kenshin, if you, know, if you watched this in the early 90s, like Janelle and I, and enjoyed this anime, then by all means, he's not a bad figure. When did this start? <laughs> a couple minutes ago, I thought you heard it. <laughs> I honestly didn't realize started that. started talking louder to compensate. Anyway, Gosh, let's... you'd think that we live next to a welding company or something. Seriously. Anyway, let's just finish this up. <laughs> anyway, so that is my take on this action figure. I honestly think he's great. I'm going to stick him all by himself, unfortunately. I, I will not have this guy with other action figures from different companies. And that is just my opinion on that. And you can get this from Jason Co. He is down in the description down below. <laughs> see what I did there? Anyway, thank, okay. thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And go where? DStartToys.com. That's right. You can go to www.DStartToys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures where you can get Goku, you can, you can get Punisher, and you can even get Silver Samurai. But no, no Kenshin, unfortunately. Not yet. <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah.